Hi, my name is John Smith, and I'm here to help change the way that we build and rehabilitate roads. Current road rehabilitation methods and tools are really better at addressing the symptoms instead of solving the problem. Everybody knows that there's rough and bumpy roads out there. There's always been only one way to fix them. They dump a bunch of asphalt out in front of a big flat plate. It can't produce a smooth surface because it's not providing enough material over the depressions. The heavy roller bridges over these sections and the material doesn't fully compact. Eventually that surface starts to crack, water seeps in, and it breaks down. The current method is very costly. It's very time consuming. It causes more lane closures, which is what really affects you and me out on the road. We're all tired of being stuck in road work congestion, only to have those same roads quickly return to a state of disrepair. The 3D asphalt paving machine that I have designed can address a dip here, a, a bump here, a rut over there in one single pass and providing more material, less material where it's needed. Once compacted, it will all level out and provide the smooth, flat driving surface that we desire. We're working with the folks here at the UC Davis Pavement Research Center to prove that this method can be done. My name is John Harvey. I'm the director of the University of California Pavement Research Center. Getting good compaction is the most important thing for asphalt concrete. The variable screed paver looks like a way that we can really get a smooth pavement even when we're paving relatively thin layers. Getting the right amount of material to handle those deformations and undulations in the existing pavement uh, means that we're going to get that better compaction and that really translates into some tremendous increases in pavement life which brings down the cost to taxpayers for the pavement. Our approach to 3D asphalt paving relies on three different components. First, LiDAR scans a surface and collects very detailed, accurate 3D measurements. Secondly, computer modeling is used to design a shaped 3D asphalt layer that will compensate for any surface variations. And the third component is the 3D asphalt paving machine. It utilizes a multi-segmented screed which is able to deliver the shape 3D asphalt layer that was designed. The roads that we make using this technology will actually last longer because we will be able to achieve a more uniform level of compaction which will prevent us from having to come back and repave the road all over again. 3D paving will indeed provide a faster, cleaner and more effective way to rehabilitate our roads. With a working prototype, we can start rehabilitating roads in this way and begin seeing the benefits sooner rather than later. We can build a better road faster, cheaper and cleaner. Get involved with this efforts so we can all save money, get to where we need to go and lower our carbon footprint.